Hey everyone, we're going to be looking at page scrolling and how we can slightly slow it down when you're using menu anchors. Now what I'm going to show you is a free plugin on how to solve this. There are ways to do this with JavaScript and a bit more coding, but if you want to stay away from coding, you can use a plugin. Of course, we don't want to use plugins just for plugins sake, okay? So I'm really sorry that I'm using a plugin, but it is free. And I've seen a lot of people ask the question about how do I slow down the page scrolling? Now, what do I mean by that? Let me just quickly show you the problem and then how we can solve it. By the way, I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. Please do like, subscribe and follow us and keep up to date with all the information we love to share about Elementor, WordPress and how it can work for you, your clients and of course your business. OK, so please stick around. OK, so on this page, I've added in a button and this button when I click on the button, if we go to content, I've given it a, I've said to it, link to hashtag jump. Okay, the button's called jump and it's going to hashtag jump. So basically it's going to go to the jump anchor. And if I scroll down over here, just on one of these columns, this is just a fake website, by the way, on one of these columns, I've added in a menu anchor and I've called it jump. Okay, so over here, you'd have gone here, you'd have typed in anchor, dropped it in and after dropping it in you would name it. Do take account how you name it. So if you do capitals you've got to make sure you use the capitals again. If you use lowercase you've got to use the lowercase. So here we've just got jump. So back up to the button we put the words hashtag jump. You could put a URL in if you want but I'm just saying go down to that page and you can have multiple menu anchors. Okay you all know this okay I don't I don't mean to insult anyone but what happens at the moment so let's preview this page. Right, so when I click jump, it should go down. There you go, pretty quick, right? So it's gone down to the, to the, uh, to the menu anchor. But for some people, they find that a little bit too quick and they feel like they're gonna get seasick or fall off their chest. Look, let me do it again. It's a, it is a bit quick, right? So is there a plugin that we can use to slow this down? Of course there is. The plugin we're going to use is free and it's called Page Scroll to ID. That is it. It's already got 100,000 users or active sub installations. Why have we not heard of this before? I'm not entirely sure because I have to search for this and I found it a while ago. Page Scroll to ID. Let's see what it does. So you obviously install it, you activate it. Now, when you've activated it, go to the settings. There's a lot of settings on here and I did kind of look at it and go, do I really need to worry about all of them kind of thing? And to be honest, not really. What it's basically saying is anything with a hashtag is going to be enabled as a selector for it to do its scrolling. What you then have down here is how many seconds do you want it to last? Now, I on purpose have put 5,000 because I just want to show you what happens with a really ridiculous high number. When I'm going to put it down to what I would actually generally put it down to if I was going to use this as a bit of a, a slowdown on the page scroll. What we also have here is the type of easing. Now there are various types here and if you click this link here it will take you to a page where you can test them out. I honestly do believe that the one they give you as default which is ease in um, and out, quint or whatever that means, the way they've done that is the best one to use. It is nice and smooth in the way it works okay it's not a harsh jump it's not a sluggish jump it's not a jolted jump either it's a nice eased in jump and i think it's the best one to use and all you would do is come over here and just change this box here scroll duration that is all you change you do also have the option to decide if your page layout is vertical or horizontal 99 percent of the time it's gonna be vertical so just change the scroll duration let us now hit save changes. Okay, let's now go back over to our page. I'm just going to click update for a moment. And I'm just going to hit return again just to refresh the page, just because I'm that kind of guy who likes to refresh and make sure everything's gone through. Let's now preview the page and just see what happens. So now when I click it, it should take five seconds. So I'm going to click that and just watch what happens. Three, four, five ish kind of thing. So they're about 5,000 milliseconds, five, five seconds to drop. And that was probably a bit too slow. 
So if I now go back into the uh, the plugin settings, I'm going to change this one and a half seconds. 1,500 milliseconds, by the way. Okay, save to changes. Let's just hit return on that page again. Then click the jump. Yeah, a bit more of a gradual um, uh, drop down there. So rather than the quick, brisk leap down to the anchor, we now get a bit of gradual scrollness. So it's a free plugin to use, page scroll to ID. It's going to do, it will apply the same though for every single anchor you got, but I suppose consistency is a good thing. Okay, so all you got to do is change the scroll duration. So if you want to go for one second, one and a half seconds, two seconds, test it out, see how you're feeling. I think it's a pretty good plugin to have if you have got, you know, if you are using anchors or one page scrolling. So look, I hope you like that. I hope you subscribe and I shall see you soon. You take care.